So I'm going to call the 8 o'clock City Council meeting for uh, May 8, 2017 order. Please stand. We're going to salute the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. Uh, Councilors, uh, well, actually, those in attendance, we have a, a, a full... Uh, full agenda tonight, but thank you for being here, ladies and gentlemen. Um, when we're at City Hall, we have our nameplates in front of us, so I'm just going to do a quick roll call. We have Council Cruz, Council Stadensky, Council Beauregard, I'm the City Council President, Robert Sullivan, Council Ian Airy, the Dean, Council Monaghan, Council Lally, Council Fowell, Councilor Barnes, Councilor at Large Rodriguez. Moses Rodriguez is actually out of the country this week, so he will not be in attendance. Um, if we could do, Mr. Clerk, if we could do agenda item, uh, Councilor Fowell, we're going to Get to you. Uh, we'll go to you now. Sure, absolutely, sir. Just a moment of yes, personal absolutely. privilege. absolutely. I have two citations. I'd like to approach the podium, if you don't mind. By all means. Council. Is Nicholas Fernandes here? Nicholas, come on down. Councilors and ladies and gentlemen, Nicholas Fernandes has been chosen to participate in the Youth Olympics in 2018 in Buenos Aires. He is going to compete in Taekwondo, of which I know nothing about, so I'll defer to uh, Nicholas. But we're very proud of him. I know all of you are very proud of him, and I would like to present this citation. Be it known that the Brockton City Council hereby extends its congratulations to Nicholas Fernandes upon his selection to compete in the 2018 Youth Olympics. So. Mr. Fernandes, on behalf of the City Council, we wish you all the best, and obviously you're a champion within the City of Champions, so best of luck on that. Thank you. And the second one is Coach Marcella Raines. Marcella, are you here? That's all right. You can bring your entourage down. It's bring the team down. <laughs> Counselors and ladies and gentlemen, Coach Marcella Reigns in her Rain Elite AAU basketball program for ages 14 and under. I think you can tell from the height, it is a basketball team. <laughs> they are ranked uh, number one in New England. It is number eight in the country, is it? Yes. So. future NBA players, and again, we're very proud of people from the City of Champions who are indeed champions. So thank you very much. Thank you so much. Well, nice job. Thanks, guys. Coach, on behalf of the City Council, uh, congratulations and thank you for doing what you do for the youth of the City of Brockton. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thank you, Council Farwell. Uh, he wants to do it afterwards. We're going to go on to uh, agenda item number one, please. We have the acceptance of the minutes of April 24th, 2017, City Council. Accepted and placed on file. Council Cruz. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Before we get to the next uh, agenda items, which are some of the things we like to do the most, uh, I did notice in the chamber tonight. Uh, a month or so ago, or a month and a half ago, uh, representatives of this great group of uh, Brockton uh, firefighters had some pretty severe injuries in uh, what turned out to be a very sad night. 
<laughs> and, uh, but I did notice Lieutenant Chris O'Reilly is back to work and is here tonight. Where is Chris? get back to our permanent digs, uh, we will have Firefighter Davis and uh, Lieutenant O'Reilly in. And again, the representative that could have been any two or three of this group of people in the room, but they did a great job that night. Turned out to be a very sad night. The elderly gentleman did pass away, but they're true heroes and true representatives of this department. So I want to thank you, Chris. So, Cruz, thank you again, and it's, it is a reminder that the men and women of, of, of Brockton Fire, Brockton Police, they put their lives on the line every single day to, uh, to make our city safe. So, again, kudos to you, and, uh, and thank you very much. Councilor Farwell. Mr. President, I move that on items 2, 3, and 4, we suspend the rules to allow action tonight. It's a motion on the floor. Uh, it's properly seconded uh, to act on agenda items 2, 3, and 4. Tonight on the suspension rules, all in favor, please raise your hand. All opposed, that motion carries. Mr. Clerk, if we could read them. Do we want to, Council, do you want to read them collectively or do you want to read them one at a time? Mr. Clerk. The appointment of George Jonas to the rank of fire lieutenant in the Brockton Fire Department. Is Mr. Jonas here? Yeah. He's got the best seat in the house. Mr. Clerk, if we could please read the roll relative to the uh, to the to the appointment um, promotional appointment, please. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Ionieri. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Ten in the affirmative. Uh, it's confirmed, and the promotion is hereby uh, enacted. Congratulations, <laughs> Lieutenant. Clerk, number three, please. The appointment of Michael McKenna to the rank of fire lieutenant in the Brockton Fire Department. Mr. McKenna, are you here? Good evening. <laughs> Mr. Clerk, if we could kindly do a roll call vote relative to this promotion. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Ionary. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally, yes. Monahan, yes. Studinsky, yes. Sullivan, yes. ten in the affirmative. Motion is hereby passed. The vote is confirmed. Mr. Lieutenant, congratulations. <laughs> Mr. Clerk, if we could read agenda item four, please. The appointment of Stephen McLean to the rank of flag captain in the Brockton Fire Department. Mr. McLean, if you could please stand. Clerk, if you could kindly do a roll call vote relative to this promotion. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Ionary. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Ten in the affirmative. Promotion is hereby confirmed. Congratulations, Lieutenant. <laughs> oh, Captain, Captain, Captain. <laughs> Captain. <laughs> We're going to take a recess, but again, congratulations, Lieutenant, Lieutenant, and Captain, and enjoy this moment. And again, thank you for what you do for the city of Brockton. Council Cruz. Uh, just before we move to recess, I'd just like to take note of the fact that Lieutenant Jonas' father, longtime chairman of the Zoning Board of Appeals, Tony Jonas, is here tonight. Thank you, Brockton. <laughs> Council Farwell. Mr. President, on items two, three, and four, I move reconsideration in the hope it does not prevail. Motion on the floor, properly uh, second reconsideration, hopes it doesn't prevail. Agenda items two, three, four. In favor of reconsideration, please raise your hand. All opposed? <coughs> Motion for reconsideration does not prevail, Councilors. We're going to take a, uh, a five minute recess, but again, thank you very much. <laughs> Councilors, before we get into the next agenda item, I just wanted to, a uh, couple pieces of information. 
Um, number one, um, we will be going back to City Council uh, as of next Monday. Um, originally, I had said we were going to be here through the month, but with the Brockton High musical drama, um, this room will not be accessible next Monday. And again, Mr. Consiri has confirmed to me that the elevator is, uh, is, is operational. So again, tonight's the last night, the Little Theater. We'll be going back to City Hall. And then once we get into the summer session, you know, we'll, we'll see if, if the elevator, at some point the elevator is going to be worked on this summer, and we'll probably have to come back here. Uh, but it will be limited to come back here due to the summer schedule. So please keep that in mind. Also, um, before we go into the agenda item, um, I'm going to be working pretty soon with the clerk's office relative to the budget. I sent you an email uh, when the mayor uh, had indicated. Um, that's changed. It's been pushed back. So again, it looks like we're going to be doing it uh, the week of uh, June 5th. Um, but again, I'll give you a hard, uh, hard date, and it will be three nights, um, and we'll figure that out. But just for just FYI, and to kind of do your schedule, that's where we're going. Um, and thank you again for the citations, and thank you for honoring uh, Mr. O'Reilly. Um, we're going to go on to agenda item number five, please. Petition of Eddie A. Wan of 35 Clarence Street, Brockton, for a garage license located at 501 North Main Street, Brockton. Time haven't arrived. I'm going to declare the hearing open. Uh, if there's someone here in, in favor, please come forward and state your name for the, for the record. Good evening, councilors. My name is Eddie A. Wan. I live at 35 Clown Street, Brockton. Stay one. Good evening. Good evening. I'm here to um, request a garage and repair license. Councilors, any questions from Mr. A. Wan? Council Bonds. Not really a question. I, just, I would just like to put a statement on the record that, um, that Mr. A. Wan is a reputable uh, repair shop. He's been in the city for years and years, his predecessor, his father, actually used to work on my mom's car when I was a kid, and uh, we always had our car working and it was up to date, and um, I just want to encourage my colleagues to, um, to approve this without any reservation, and the next one as well. I thank you very much for that. Thank you, Council Bonds. Any other questions? <coughs> We, we, we can't do that quite oh, yet. We're okay. in the middle of a hearing, but we'll, we'll, we'll definitely get back to that. Is there anyone else? Is there anyone else? He, counselor. That I'd like to make a comment. As Mr. Awan owns businesses in Ward 7, previous businesses, I've, uh, as long as I've been a counselor, I've never gotten a complaint. So I look forward to having him uh, pursue further businesses in the area. Great. So thank you, Mr. Awan. Thank you very much. Thank you, Counselor. Any, any other counselors? Is there anyone else here in the... Uh, in the chamber relative to this matter in favor. Anyone here, third and final? Is anyone here in opposition relative to this matter? Anyone here in opposition? Third and final, I'm gonna close that part of the hearing. Again, any questions for the, uh, for the applicant, for Ms. Daywan? If not, I'm gonna entertain a motion. Move to recommend favorably. So motion on the floor is properly second favorable recommendation uh, to, to grant the garage license all in favor. I'll oppose that motion carries. It's hereby granted. Thank you, Mr. A1. Thank you very much. Have a great night. I'm going to go on to number six, please. The official of Eddie A1, DBA, A1's Transmission Center, Inc., for motor vehicle repair mechanical license, located at 501 North Main Street, Brockton. Time haven't arrived. I declare this hearing open. If there's anyone here in favor, please uh, come forward and state your name again for the record. Eddie A1. I live at 35 Clan Street, Brockton. Thank you, Mr. A1. Any questions for Mr. Awan relative to this petition? Anyone else here in favor? Is anyone here in favor relative to this matter? Third and final time, I'm gonna close that part of the hearing. Anyone here in opposition? Is there anyone here that's opposed to this? Third and final time, anyone here in opposition? Matter now comes before us. Any counselors, any counselor? Just a point of information. Uh, Farwell. On a garage repair license to be consistent, are we going to send it to public safety to examine the paperwork? So will the council to do that, counselor? Is that a form of a motion? Yes. There's a motion on the floor. Is there a second? There is a second to keep uh, in conforming with what we've done past practice, sending it back to public safety. All in favor, please raise your hand. All opposed? We're going to send that back to public safety, counselor. Mr. Clark has some information for us, counselors. Under the garage license and the um, motor vehicle repair license, we have received a parking plan on both uh, items, and the fire department has no objection. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Mr. Awan, just to, just to kind of enlighten you, mm -hmm. um, we, we've done this for about a year now um, relative to repair licenses that come before us for renewals or even new ones, where we send them to public safety. This, this legislative year, Council Farwell is the chair. Uh, this isn't anything new. We did it last year when I was chair. 
but the application would be sent to public safety. You as the applicant would come before. It's a five-member board. Again, um, the clerk has just indicated the plan's been submitted, which is great. Usually it's not submitted this time, uh, and there's no opposition. So again, it's, it's, it's a formality, but we want to keep it consistent what, we, what we've done, okay? So it is sent to public safety. Thank you very much, Mr. Anwan. Have a good evening. Thank, thank you, you again. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to go on to number seven, please. Report of the Finance Committee for its meeting of May 1st, 2017. Accept and place on file. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Executive Director of the Pocket Authority requested a transfer of funds totaling $28,566 from personal services overtime, $3,500, personal services part time, $12,000, Pocket Authority reserves, $13,066, to ordinary maintenance services, electricity, $3,500, and snow removal, $25,000. $66. Council has accepted and placed a file. You can recommend you say mayor from start that. Communication from the mayor recommended. That too is accepted and placed a file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Also accepted and placed a file. Communication from the chief of police requested the transfer of $250,000 from personal services under the normal time to police personal services over time to cover overtime expenditures as a result of vacancies employees on family medical leave, new contractual language regarding use of personal names, and the reduction of overtime grant funding. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. That too accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Also accepted and placed on file. Communication from the assistant city auditor certifying the balance of the vacant abandoned building revolving account as of April 14, 2017 is $529,307.10. Accepted and placed on file. <coughs> Communication from the superintendent of building requesting an appropriation of $338,500 from the vacant and abandoned building fund towards the demolition of 47 Elm Street, West Elm Street. That's your name. Cause of Scrivener's errors, the word West should be in front of Elm Street. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommending the same. That too, accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. That also is accepted and placed on file. So that is accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. That is accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Chief of the Fire Department requested acceptance of expenditures of a donation in the amount of $1,000 from National Grid, the City of Brockton Fire Department. The intended use of these funds is in the areas of youth, education, and training operations. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the Mayor recommending the same. That too is accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Also accepted and placed on file. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor recommended. That too is accepted and placed on file. Communication from the CFO relative to the same. Also accepted and placed on file. Communication from the executive health officer requesting a transfer of $8,000 from Board of Health Personal Services other than overtime to Board of Health Purchase of Services. The intended use is to be used for contract to train 
Except in a Play Store file. Except in a Play Store file. That too is accepted and placed on file. Questions on a confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, if you could kindly read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Ionary. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Ten in the affirmative. Appointment is confirmed, Councils. The appointment of Laurie Monaghan of 174 Manamit Street, Brockton, as a trustee of the War Memorial Building for a three year term. Recommendation is favorable. Questions on uh, Councilor Cruz. Councilor. Can I make a motion we take 31 through 39 collectively? <laughs> the number is 31 through 39. Yeah, we've already done 30, right? Yes. Yep. So the, there's a motion on the floor property second uh, to take collectively 31 through 39, and Mr. Clerk has already read 31. So if we could do 32 through 39, and then we'll take a vote on 31 through 39. You want to do 31? Okay. No, you already read that. We could go right to 32. Reappointment Richard Bath, 38 Frost Street, Sparkin, is trustee of the War Memorial Building for three year term. Reappointment Miles Jackson, 25 Sturge Avenue, Brockton. Trustee of the Wall Memorial Building for three years term. Reappointment of Henry Catalia of 33 Brook Street, Brockton, uh, to the License Commission for three years term. Reappointment of Ozzy L. Jordan Jr. of 31 Hollow Street, Brockton, <coughs> to the Water Commission for three years term. Reappointment of Bernie Hassan, 26 Lee Circle, Brockton, to the Water Commission for three years term. Reappointment of William R. Thomas Jr., 19 Albert Avenue, Brockton, Constable of the City of Rockford for three year term. Reappointment of Kenneth Grace of 146 Court Street, Rockford, is a constable of the City of Rockford for three, three year term. And the reappointment of William Bishop, 333 Foundry Street, Southeastern, is a constable of the City of Rockford. Council's point of information uh, on our agenda, this is just a scrivener's error. Uh, for 3435, again, we talked about this before, we're going to strike the word as chairman, we don't have that authority. Okay, so just strike that if you could on your agenda. Yes, Councillor. Are we supposed to vote on the motion to take them collectively? I think we did, Councillor. No. We didn't? No. <laughs> I'm ahead of the game. Thank you, Councillor. <laughs> just for consistency. <laughs> all right. We have a motion on the floor 31 through 39 to take those collectively. All in favor? Yeah. All opposed? We are. Thank you, Councillor. We're taking them collectively. Uh, now we're going to do a uh, the questions on confirmation of those agenda items 31 through 39 by a roll call vote. Mr. Clark, kindly read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Ionary. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Ten in the affirmative. Councilors, all those reappointments, 31 through 39, are hereby confirmed. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, kindly read the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Ionary. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Ten in the affirmative. Orders adopted, councils. Resolved as mayor, director of planning and economic development, building inspector, and executive director of the Brockton Redevelopment Authority, be invited to appear before a committee of this council to review the issues relative to the positions of the two properties. City owned parcel 47 West Elm Street, Assessors Map 091, Route 004, Part 102, and Mark Map 091, Route 005, Part 103, West Elm Street. And the process that led to the recommendation to the City Council that the Mayor be given authority to transfer such properties to the BRA, that recommendation is made. Questions on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please read the roll. Azak. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Ionary. No. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Nine in the affirmative, one in the negative. Resolve is hereby adopted. Resolve to invite Mr. Ronald K. Freedy, the director of the Greater Brockton Center for Dispute Resolution, to introduce him and allow him to present information on the services 
provided through the Senate, available to anyone living in Plymouth County, to the City Council, recommendation is made. Questions on adoption by roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please read the roll. Hayes Act. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Ionary. Yes. Farway. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Ten in the affirmative. Resolve is hereby adopted, councils. An ordinance amending chapter nine is revised ordinance of the city of Rockford. Be ordained by the city council as follows. Section nine dash twenty four of article two licenses relative to the number of second hand article uh, licenses. Referred to ordinance committee. Order that the sum of seventy eight million dollars is appropriated to pay costs of the purchasing uh, purchasing the aquarium water desalinization facilities located in the town of Dalton, including all transmission and other facilities incidental and related thereto. Wherever such facilities shall be located, and more particularly described in an asset purchase agreement between the city and aquaria LLC, and be it further ordered that the city treasurer is authorized to file application of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Municipal Finance Oversight Board to qualify under Chapter 44A of the general laws any and all bonds or notes of the city authorized by this vote and to provide such information and execute such documents as the Municipal Finance Oversight Board of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts may require. It's referred to the Finance Committee. For the Finance Committee. For the Finance Committee. I'm sorry, Mr. Clerk. And for the uh, personnel retained by the city to operate the desalinization plant following the termination of the operation and maintenance agreement. That is referred to the Finance Committee. Order an act authorizing the city of Rockford to appropriate funds to acquire the desalinization plant located in the town of Titan, together with any and all related water transfer. Authorizing the city to borrow all or uh, any portion of such appropriation. Authorizing the city to enter into an asset purchase agreement and such other agreements as shall be necessary and convenient to the acquisition of such plan and facility. And providing for the transfer of all related permits, licenses, and regulatory approvals previously granted by any agency or department of the Commonwealth. Refer to the Finance Committee. Mr. Pre Mr. President, Council Cruz. seeing as how we're going to have quite the night next week, I'd make a motion we uh, take 48 and 49 under suspension of the rules and act on them this evening. They're obviously pretty, uh, pretty non-controversial issues. It's a motion on the floor. for property second to act on the suspension of rules and, and uh, act on 48 and 49 tonight. All in favor? I'll oppose that motion carries. Well, uh, that the City Council authorizes the acceptance of expenditures of donation in the amount of $1,000 Mr. Clerk, uh, if you could kindly do the roll. Roll call vote, please, on those. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Beauregard. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Ioneri. Yes. Farwell. Yes. Lally. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Ten in the affirmative. Order is hereby enacted. An appropriation of $338,500 from available funds, vacant and abandoned building fund, to public property purchase and services demolition for the purpose of contributing to the anticipated cost of demolishing 47 West Elm Street. To refer to the Finance Committee. Appropriation of $250,000 for personal services other than overtime to police personal services overtime. 
Referred to the Finance Committee. Appropriation $28,566 for personal services overtime, $3,500. Personal services part time, $12,000. Pocket authority reserves, $13,066. For ordinary maintenance services, electricity, $3,500. And snow removal, $25,066. Referred to Finance Committee. Transfer of $8,000 from Board of Health Personal Services. That's going to be referred to the Finance Committee. Results of Whiteness Lynn Smith, the organizer for the June 11, 2017 event, Camp Fellow 100 years ago, to inform the residents and the City Council about this community event celebrating the history of the South Side of Boston. Councils, this referred to Finance and Councils. We're going, to, we're going to put that number one on the agenda. So, Ms. Smith, <coughs> it's going to be a lengthy night. We're going to put her number one on there. Uh, that's referred to Finance. Thank you. Council, this is a resolve that I filed that was co-signed by Council Farwell. I'm going to refer it to finance, but it's not going to be this coming finance, Monday night, May 15th. It's going to be the following finance committee. Resolved that the finance committee discuss the potential opportunity to utilize the city-owned Whitman School to benefit the citizens of the city. This two councils resolve I filed. It's not going to be uh, referred to this coming Monday night's finance. It's going to be the following finance meeting after May 15th. Resolved that the finance committee discuss the potential opportunity Lastly, Councils, this also is my resolve. Same thing. I'm going to refer it to finance not this coming Monday night, May 15th, but the following finance after that night, Councils. Councils, anything before us tonight? Councils, Azak. Absolutely, Council. I would like to remind everybody that Brockton High School uh, Drama Club is putting on Sister Act this year as their musical. And it is this um, week, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I hope everybody will come out and support them. Tickets are only $12, and it's, um, they always put on an amazing um, show. So hopefully we see everybody here at Brockton High this week. And happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. Thank you, Councilor. Councilor Beauregard. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, okay, a couple of things here. First of all, um, my um, city um, Ward 5 meeting will be on Tuesday, May 23rd. Uh, at six, beginning at 6.30 at the Brockton Main Library, 304 Main Street, with the parking on White Ave. My cell phone number is 774-297-4939, and the guest speaker will be from Old Colony Planning Council, Ray G G Girano, and uh, he will be speaking on actually the plans for Route 123, which is Belmont Street and Center Street. And uh, an awful lot is going on in Brockton. I mean, the last time I was here, I talked about a few things. And since then, there was a water meeting, a water commission meeting, a planning department meeting, a board of health meeting. But most of all, there was a Brockton Blueprint meeting. There's a draft that's online and available at all the libraries and the Council on Aging. And it was talking about the future and the plans for Brockton. And let me tell you, they were pretty impressive. And the presentation itself was uh, very positive. Uh, several of us city councilors, you know, bopped in or stuck around for the whole thing. And um, it's available. And I hope that people look at reading it because if you, you know, decided to live here, you've made an investment in your future and um, and the future of Broughton. It was pretty in impressive. So I, I encourage you to uh, look at that. And also, I'm not alone, but all the other city councilors probably received a letter, letters from concerned parents, and uh, we hear you. We're concerned about the Broughton public school system, and I know that this is not going to be a decision anyone makes lightly. Thank you for showing you concern and empowering other people to do so. Faith and Laurie, you know who you are, so thank you. Thank you, thank you. Councilor, uh, Councilor Cruz. Just a reminder to the members of the Ordinance Committee that tomorrow night at 6 o'clock in the City Hall Chamber, we will be meeting uh, as the Ordinance Subcommittee. Thank you, Councilor. Thank you. Council, there's a couple things. I just want to let you know that uh, I did meet with Mayor Carpenter today. I met with Tim Carpenter. I met with uh, Assistant Superintendent Mike Thomas and two representatives from uh, Brockton Cal Ripken West uh, Little League Baseball at West Middle School. We met today, uh, and, and I'm pleased to say we've made a lot of progress relative to the resolve that I filed last year that we supported unanimously about the Baron Selly Field, um, and, and uh, the mayor is, is on board, and it looks like we're going to be uh, 
uh, finalizing something in the near future. So I just wanted to keep you an update on that. It, it does look like it's going to benefit. And, and again, just please, please be aware that even if the field is located on the west side of the city, which it will be, uh, Little League's changed now. Uh, and that, like my own children, play on the west side, but we also have games at Brookfield, Ashfield, and Gilmore. So it's more of an intercity league now because the numbers are, are, have dwindled. So I just want to let you know that all the boys and girls will benefit by this, but it is promising news. Uh, also, again, because we won't be meeting here uh, in, in the near future, I want to thank all the audiovisual folks that have really helped us out quite a bit, really, absolutely. I also want to thank the city clerk. Um, and, and Mr. Gilday as well to assist on this, and of course, uh, Councilor Yanari, the Dean, and Mike Thomas in the schools. We've, we've had this for a while now. I think we were here rightfully so, um, but it's time to get back home, as they say. So we will be back home. And, uh, and with that being said, I do want to wish my son, William, a happy fifth birthday tomorrow, William. So uh, happy birthday, buddy. Uh, anything else before us? Seeing none, this meeting's here by adjourned. Have a good evening. Be safe. <laughs>